नमस्कार आप सभी लोग अपने अपने घरों पे सकुशल होंगे ईश्वर से ऐसी कामना के साथ हम बात करते हैं अपने टॉपिक की दैट येस्टरडे वी हैव टॉक और इन नंबर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव टॉक अबाउट द एनाटॉमी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द कॉकरोच इन विच वी हैव जस्ट कंप्लीटेड अप टू द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम एंड द रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम मीन द डिफरेंट प्रोसेस ऑफ देयर लाइफ मीन हाउ द कॉकरोचेस कैन कैपेबल टू प्रोसीड देयर लाइफ विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस और सिस्टम लेवल अप टू इन विच वी हैव टॉक अबाउट देयर सर्कुलेटरी रेस्पिरेटरी एंड द डाइजेस्टिव लेट्स मूव द अनदर सिस्टम दैट इज नोन एज एस्क्रिटरी सिस्टम इन द कॉकरोच दैट और द एस्क्रिशन इन द कॉकरोच विच कैन बी take place as we all know that cockroach is a u- uricotelic organism first of all you all have to know what about that uricotelic means generally the animals are basically on the basis of excretion they can be classified in different categories uricotelic aminotelic right or urotelic means uricotelic are those organisms which can capable or which can always excrete their excretory product in the formation of uric acid right so they all are known as urico telic what about the ureotelic means the organism which can excrete their product in the formation of the urea and some organisms like which can be always excrete their product in the formation of the ammonia they are known as aminotelic especially those are the found in the aquatic systems so there is a questions that how these insects especially these cockroaches can capable to excrete their products with their every body so for that you all have to know that these organism these cockroaches can have a special organ system in their body these they have a special organs in their body you all can see this structure that malfigan tubules are present over there i think everybody seen this malfigan tubules in that conditions okay so you can understand with the help of this one means these are the structures which can be always forms a excretory part of these cockroaches or we can say the malfigan tubules take part in the both excretion as well as the osmoregulation mean they can also capable to maintain the other things or osmoregulatory system in their body part for that right or as i have told you that these are the generally the <coughs> they can also excrete with the body fat and the nephrocytes all over all the such things okay so we have to just know that the tubules are lined by the cuboidal mean the structure of the malfigan tubules we can say these all tubules are lined by the cuboidal breast border and granular cells and excrete the nitrogenous waste matter from the hemolymph and discharge it into the ileum as the uric acid over there as you can see in the diagram also okay as well as we can say that in the rectum the epithelial lining picks up most of the salts from the urine and transport it into the hemolymph and urine becomes nearly solidified and the eliminated along with the feces means generally they do not have the, some other type of systems they can be just uh, excrete these all substances means this malfigan tubes can absorb can take off right all those the excretory products of nitrogen and waste from their hemolymph and after that it can be discharged into the ileum from where it can be just passes out <coughs> into with the help of their anus but before between them they they have also the epithelial lining structures in which especially in the rectum which can be always capable to reabsorb or absorb all the salts from the urine and transport back into the hemolymph right or urine becomes nearly generally their urine is generally in solidified right and as we have as i have told you that generally they can also have some other additional body parts also that is the fat body as well as the nephrocytes right and one more that is known as the uricose gland also help for the excretion if we talk about the fat body the fat cells excreted ex- extract the excretory products from the blood evenly the nephrocytes they have a large binucleated cells and found at attachment to the dorsal diaphragm through which they can also capable to secrete or excrete their waste material or excretory product from the body of the cockroaches let's move to another 
system that is known as nervous system because we all know that without nervous system generally agni cannot be capable to over there generally we all have to know that even the cockroach can live right without head also sometimes you all have known about it but but we have to talk about the nervous system especially in the cockroaches we can say the its nervous system consists of the different few segmental arrangement ganglion jointed by the different longitudinal connectives okay as well as you can just seen in the diagram over there I mean there are different ganglions are found over there generally you can see they have the abdominal ganglion they have the thoracic ganglion right and super pharyngeal ganglion these all are the different ganglion through which they can the development of the nervous system are found in, into the cockroach one or we can say these three ganglions especially the three ganglions uh, are lies in the thorax and six in the abdomen are found over there right you can just count at them easily see and we can say that the ganglia lies in the thorax and in the abdomen generally the three ganglions are found in the thorax cavity in the upper one and the later on after that they have also abdominal which is three sorry in the abdominal cavity they have the six ganglion and in the thorax cavity they have the three ganglion are found in their body which are always lies in the three conditions <coughs> even if we can say this nervous system of cockroach is also spread throughout the body means from you can just see upper to the lower one continue okay so this can be spread out through your body the nervous system is completely distributed from the head to the ventral part of the their body so we can say the head holds a bit of the nervous systems while the rest of situated along the ventral part of the body system that's why we can say right that's why we can say that it can be lived without head also for a long period of time which you have already known so you can just see as in the diagrams right and we can also talk about that generally the head region the brain is represented by the supraesophageal ganglion which supplies nerves to the antenna and compound eyes right and nerve arises from all the ganglia is in the head and thorax and abdomen and in very the various part in their respective region means the different parts can be also controlled with the help of different regions over there as we can say if they center there also have different ways of the central organs or nervous system we can say there is cns pns and ans also found in their body right so according to that one they can be classified in different ways especially if we talk about the central nervous system the nerve rings and the nerve cord are can be always help if we talk about the nerve nerve rings generally these nerve rings can be always helpful for the developmenting or controlling the super oesophageal ganglion which is a brain like structure or the second one is circum oesophageal connective and the sub oesophageal ganglion especially if we talk about the super oesophageal which supra oesophageal which can be also at different three part that is called the protocerebrum and deuterocerebrum and the tritocerebrum on the other hand if we talk about the peripheral nervous systems they have another one different parts in their body that especially those parts we can say the two pair of optic nerves that is inverted in a compound eyes means generally from the supra oesophageal it arises over there or two pair of the antennal nerves that are supplied to antenna right evenly the two pair nerves can be supplied to the labrum of the lower, lower jaws only we, we can say they are they arises from the supra oesophageal means all these nerves are arises from the superficial ganglion and they are pair are and a pair of the nerves which are the connected to the sub super oesophageal ganglion and circled in the oesophagus or we can say the nerves that supply the mandibles and maxillary and the labrum especially for the movement of their mouth different parts right they can be arise over there evenly if we talk about the cns there are different parts especially in their body so we can say especially the thoracic 
and abdominal. If we can talk about the thoracic three pairs, as I've told you, especially in the thoracic cavity, they have shown the different condition the pro thoracic ganglion and the mesothoracic and the metathoracic ganglion they are present in, the, in their body evenly they can be always helpful for the nervous supply to the thoracic muscles wings legs and the internal organ found in the thorax cavity on the other hand the uh, uh, abdominal ganglion these are six in found in their body that is the abdominal ganglion and there are six number of ganglion which are different numbers first one is single and the second one two and the abdominal in the so on right but the sixth abdominal ganglion has the contain five or seven nerves evenly these nerves can supply the organs found in the abdominal to the control especially for the respiration circulation movements of the <coughs> elementary canal so on so you all have to know that how the different organs of the cockroaches can capable to shows their functions means for that these different ganglions can be performed there or controls especially according to the cns we can say the thoracic or the thorax ganglion can be always helpful for the controlling of the muscles wings legs and internal organ thorax one and other the different part which are found into the abdominal cavity they are always kept controlled with the help of the abdominal ganglion with the help of different nerves evenly on the or we can say <coughs> some automatic nervous system in the cockroaches we can say that the, the automatic nervous system it is also known as somatogastric or the visceral nervous systems evenly we can say it is included four nerve ganglions and nerve which can be connected to supply the visceral organs right the, we can say there are especially four types especially the first one that is the frontal ganglion it can be present in the pharynx just front of the brain and occipital ganglion right it is present in the behind the brain above the oesophagus and the visceral ganglion which is present in the wall of crop and the proventricular ganglion which is present in the gizzard one for the grinding of their food wall, you can say or we can say somatogastric nervous system supplies nerve to the elementary canal heart and the vessel organs also it can be always helpful for to regulate all the functions which can be also found into the their nervous system evenly we can say in the nervous system of cockroaches especially you can know that the sense they have also different sense organs evenly the sense organs of the cockroaches are antenna eyes maxillary palpi labium palp and the cell right or we can say the compound eyes are situated as i told you on the dorsal surface of the head each eye is consisting two thousands of the hexagonal facts right or the homotidia each homotidia capable to forming an image in it generally these are all hexagonals hexagonals as i think everybody has seen the different movies especially you all have seen the movie that is known as makhi right in which you, they can shown the structure means this is known as hexagonal optimia means if their eyes are like this the more than 200 you can say above 2000 sorry hexagonal structure are found over there and these all these optimia homotidia can capable to form an image of the any substances over there so they can be always helpful for the organisms for different things then we have to start it, the next system that is known as reproductive systems means we can say the cockroach and adaptive animals means the both sexes have developed the reproductive organs mean their organisms these organisms can have developed the both different sex sex of the male and female separately evenly right so on the basis of first of all we have to talk about the male reproductive systems in this cockroach one so we have to start you can see the diagrams of male reproductive systems evenly there is another line diagram is only we can say the cockroach can also source the sexual dimorphism means the both sexes male and females are well developed over there so we have to start it about that when this in the male reproductive system generally it consists of pair of testes lying one of each lateral side of the four to six abdominal segments found over there right evenly from the east testes arise a thin wall difference 
विच ओपन इन टू द एजुकेटेड डक्ट थ्रू द सेमिनल वेसाइकिल ओवर देयर इवनली यू कैन से द एजुकेटिंग डक्ट ओपन इन टू द मेल गोनो पोर्स सिचुएटेड वेंटर टू दस एंड द करेक्ट इट कैन मशरूम से ब्रिगलैंड इन प्रजेंट इन सिक्स टू सेवन एबडोमल सेगमेंट विच इज फंक्शन एज द एसेसरी रेपोटिव ग्लैंड इन द कॉक्रोच राइट इवन ली वी कैन से द एक्सटर्नल जेनेटल आर रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई द मेल गोना फाइव पॉप फाइसेस और द फेलोमियर जनरली वी कैन यू ओन मस्ट नो द एक्सटर्नल जेनेटल आर रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई द फेलोमियर फेलोमियर दैट इज अ चिटीनियस एसिमेट्रिकल स्ट्रक्चर सराउंडेड बाय द मेल गोनो फोर स्पेशली यू कैन जस्ट सीन इन द डायग्राम ओवर देयर दैट इज यू कैन से इन दिस डायग्राम दैट इज दिस इज द पार्ट दिस सॉरी दिस इज द पार्ट ओके जैसे आई मैं टॉकिंग अबाउट द जेनेटिव एप्रेचर ओवर देयर इवन दी इफ इट कैन टॉक अबाउट दैट the other parts especially the sperms are surrounded in the seminal vesicles and glued together in the form of bundle that is called spermatophores right means generally these spermatophores which are discharged during the copulation of the these organisms as you can say means you have to just known that the testes was differentia seminal vesicle ejaculatory duct and utricular glands which can be always helpful even with the male genital or with the help of that one so we all have to know that especially the sperms are surrounded in a seminal vesicles and the glued together in the formation of bundle that is called sper sperm mat is sperm spermatophores that right, which are discharged during the copulation by the male reproductive system or especially as you have told told over there that the spermatophores have the different layers especially the first that is the outer layer we sorry inner layer we can say the tubules of the circular uh, utricular glands are found over there middle layer the ejaculatory duct and the outer layer that is phallic gland are found over there so these all can be always helpful for the secreting of these all kinds of the reproductive cells from the to talk about the female reproductive systems as especially in the female reproductive system it has also different parts but you all known that we can say directly the female reproductive system consisting of two large ovaries present in the second to sixth abdominal segments found over there right so we can say that each ovary is found of a group of the eight ovarian tubules or the ovary oils or the containing the chain of the developing ova or the oviduct which is of each ovary unite into the single med median oviduct that is also known as the fasciculum which is open into the genital chambers as the pairs of the spermatheca right spermatheca is present in the sixth segment which opens into the genital chamber over there as you can see into the diagram also in this one okay we directly you can understand with the help of this diagram so after that we can say generally the these all chambers <coughs> or we can say that uh, the development of these all different structures especially in the female reproductive system of the cockroaches you know all these different main parts that is ovaries spermatheca as and the gonophophysis especially this gonophophysis is a important one but how right first of all you all know or the previous one the spermatica as i told you that the pair of the unequal size of the spermatica is six segments the left one stores sperm during the copulation and the right one is the non functional and they open into the genital chamber by the common duct one and if we talk about the gona Pophysis, that is three pair of the chitinous plate-like structure present at the, around the genital apertures, and posterior two chambers are the oviposit ovipositors, and which can carry the eggs for the uthika chambers over there, right? And if we talk about 
their reproduction will how the reproduction will take place in their body especially about the fertilization right means how the fertilization will take place in the cockroaches you all have to know that especially the sperm are transferred through the spermatophores right and the their fertilized eggs are encased in the cup capsules called the uthika right but before you have to know the male and female cockroaches come together by their posterior ends and the spermatophores are transferred to the zygotic chamber of the females the female the sperms are liberated from the spermatophore and these to the left spermatica slowly right and after that the eggs come from the both ovaries alternately into the common ovary duct passes through the female genital pores and into the genital chambers where the fertilization by the sperm coming from the left spermatica will take place over there even the the secretion of collateral glands from the eggs can also be that is called uthika right the fertilized egg are encased into the uthika or uthika is a dark reddish or blackish brown capsules about 8 mm long after that the uthika are dropped to a suitable surface usually in a crack or the cervix or relatively where the humidity are found or the near near any food sources on average female produce 9 to 10 uthika each consisting to 14 to 16 eggs inside them and the development of the <coughs> this different types of cockroaches are over there evenly you can say that the development through the nephal stages means they are ne- nymph as we all know the young ones of the cockroach that is known as nymph the nymph looks very much like adults and the nymph grows by the molting about 13 times to reach adult form the next or the last nymphal stages will wings pads but only adult cockroaches have the wings are found over there so this way a different types of the cockroaches can start to develop with the help of this conditions or we can say peri plan peri planeta americana such type of cockroaches can be able to develop over there right after we can say the what is it any economic importance of the cockroach are in our surrounding so generally we can say they are not have a special economic importance but they can be um, so the very bad things or different another one right generally if we can say talk about the economic importance generally the wild or <coughs> they are the wild and, and there is no economic importance even if we can say few species which can thrive in the around human habitat they damage the destroyed household objects such as devils crows shoes and they also carry the harmful germs of the diseases like the diarrhea cholera typhoid and tuberculosis we can say they contaminated food items with their smell excreta the animals like frog toads lizards birds and snakes eat cockroaches thus they form a part of the food chain in our environment we can say they can use in laboratories for the experimental organism as one as we can say even the that dissection is not going on continue but still for the such conditions you can dissect these animals for the further studies so students you all this way we have just completed the anatomical structures of the cockroaches so you all must read it properly and uh, this way your this unit and this chapter is also completed thank you